All right, welcome back to Level Up 247. I appreciate you coming by. Uh, last video, I believe we did a little bit of law, a little bit of criminal defense, and today um, we're going to do a little bit of uh, real estate. I am into real estate. I have a few properties. Back in 2009, I purchased my first multifamily uh, project. Before that, I had dabbled in some <clears throat> some flips. I'd buy a house, uh, repair it, and then sell it. In 2009, me and my brother decided to buy a triplex. So we have uh, one, it's a home, split into two units. Unit one is the bottom, unit two is the top. And unit three is an efficiency. It was a garage that was built out to be an efficiency. The two units are two bedroom, one bath. And back then I bought it and I had a management company take care of it. Worst decision of my life. I didn't want to handle it. I just thought I could put it on uh, cruise control and everything would, be, everything would be okay. Well, several years later, my house is torn apart. There's no renters. Uh, I didn't make any money. All I did was spend money to repair it, to find new renters. It was it was uh, it was terrible. So back, so in 2016, last year, early last year, um, or maybe late 2015 to 2016, I said, you know what? I'm just gonna have to. I'm gonna to have to do it myself. You know, when you want things done correctly, you're gonna to have to do them yourself. So I became the uh, manager at that point. And lo and behold, there was a lot of things. I paid for it dearly financially. And because it was such a terrible project, I went ahead and bought my brother out. So now it's my property alone. So at the time, I had uh, three renters, unit one, unit two, unit three. <clears throat> and uh, my unit uh, three, wasn't paying on time, it was very sporadic. And uh, she's disabled, an older lady, maybe in her 60s, um, had a walker, had dialysis, all kinds of issues with her, and uh, she wouldn't pay on time. She had her son living there with three dogs. So I finally, I said, you know, the second I got the property, I was like, man, after a few months, it's like, you're not paying. So they always say, if you're gonna be in uh, property management, you're gonna own property, you're gonna have to evict someone. And this was my very first eviction. Not a nice tale because she was an old lady, uh, disabled nonetheless, and uh, I had to do the eviction. So good thing is most people that are getting evicted, they typically don't show up to court. Um, well, as you may forecast, may, may uh, see, she showed up. So I had my assistant, I had my, my witness, I had me, I had my lease agreement, had my payment rolls, and uh, she showed up in her walker uh, with all her equipment. But the judge ruled my way because it's a very, it's a, it's a very black and white thing. What well, did you pay rent? No. How much do you owe? This much. All right. Judgment in my favor. So we're able to get her out. So that was a tough, that was a tough eviction. Um, this last time I had I bought a new property this year, and we went to court last week. You may have seen it on my Instagram, my Facebook, and we won. This time, the family decided not to show up, so that was much, much easier. So I wanted to go over an eviction process with you today. In case you're interested in real estate, who knows, I'm gonna be doing, like I said, I got the Level Up 247 videos, I got some legal videos, and now I said, well, you know, I'm into real estate, why not do a real estate video? So that's why we're here. Eviction, all right. Evictions take place at the Justice of the Peace. It's a local courthouse in your county. Now you wanna contact your local Justice of the Peace and find out the correct court. Okay, so if you have multiple families or multiple uh, homes, the eviction process may be in different courts. Okay, so the de depending on where your property is located, that determines what Justice of the Peace is going to be at. So my eviction court uh, for my Oleander, for the old lady, was at one Justice of the Peace. My eviction for San Fernando was at another Justice of the Peace. So you wanna, you wanna contact Justice of the Peace and make sure you get the correct court. You also wanna make sure you have a copy of your lease agreement. Obviously that's huge. For your records, they need to have, the, the renters need to have a copy of it. So it's, very, very, it's a very big deal. <clears throat> and you wanna make sure you have an eviction process in your contract. 
my lease agreement says that after the third day rent is due and no rent has been paid, the eviction process is going to start. So this last June, it was like June 3rd, I called and called and called, no response, text message, no response. Okay, let's go get the notice to vacate. It's a document, very simple document, one page document. You'll put it on their door, put it in their mailbox, and it gives them an indication that, hey, the eviction process has started and things are about to get serious, right? I got my notice to vacate off the internet. It's very simple, very to the point. Um, and I'm sure you could get one in your state that would apply in your circumstances. I put that up. I documented where I put it. I took a picture with my phone. I put it in, in on the uh, front door and I also put a copy in the mailbox. Just in case the judge asks me or just in case the renter says, no, I didn't, I didn't get a notice to vacate. I didn't get anything. So I make sure to document what I did. I did these personally. I didn't, I didn't have someone do them for me because I'm, I'm managing the property. So I needed to do that. Then you want to contact the Justice of the Peace, the JP, and you want to find out what paperwork or service is required. So I contacted the JP, they asked me, well, did you do the notice of vacate? I said, of course. They said, well, come on in and get the documentation and we'll get you started. So they gave me some documents, and I think it's like three documents. Every court may be a little bit different, so you want to make sure you go to your court and get the documents that they needed. And uh, the paperwork, and then you have to pay for service. The renters, the defendants in the case, need to be served. So they need a process server to go serve the paperwork or go serve the lawsuit. So there's going to be fees, the service fees, and then they're gonna to have to file the paperwork. All right, that's gonna cost some money. I'm not sure how it's gonna cost for you, but for me, I had uh, two renters, right? I had a wife, husband and wife, wanted to make sure they're both on it, so it cost $191. If it was just one person, it, might, it probably would've cost less, but both had to be served. After that, they're going to have a hearing. Usually the hearing for me was like two weeks later. So once I, I did the paperwork, once I did the service, they gave me a court date for like two weeks later. Gave me a court date, court time, location, everything. And for the hearing, you want to be prepared. So how did I prepare? Well, I had a copy of the lease agreement, right? Obviously. I had uh, documented the notice of vacate. Obviously keeping copies of everything. I also had a list of things I did to try and contact the client. On June 1st, I called. On June 2nd, I texted. On June 3rd, I did a house visit. On June 4th, I texted. On June 5th, I called, left a message. So they don't want to get to the court. Um, the renter may show up and may say, no, I didn't get any phone calls. No, I didn't get this. No, I tried calling him. No, he didn't show up. Or he, they said, no, 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 right here. June 1st, I called you at this number. There's no answer. June 2nd, I called you at this number. It was disconnected. So I have proof on my side. And of course, they may have proof on their side. I don't know. They, they probably won't. But I am. And I would recommend you doing the same. You have a list of what you did and how you did it so that when it comes down to it, uh, you don't have to, you know, lean on your memory. Obviously, you're not going to remember all the phone calls or the text messages or what they said. But if you write it down, that's going to be huge. I do that obviously for all my criminal clients, my personal injury clients in, in law. It's very, very beneficial because there may come a time when a judge asks you what happened. And if you don't recall or you don't remember or you didn't take any notes down, they're probably going to side with the other side. And you really don't want to do that. So that's the eviction process. Really not that difficult. Um, kind of time consuming. You got to make phone calls. Fill up paperwork, obviously it's going to be costly. Um, but they didn't show up. We got the judgment in our favor. The judge, uh, you have five days to uh, for them to appeal. So I can't get into my property until July 6th. Today is July 4th, happy 4th of July. I'm at the office. Um, took the kids swimming early today, so I get to go to the office in the afternoon. Anyways, so tomorrow I still can't come in because I have the right to appeal. But July 6th, I have the right to go in there and, and get it ready and, and figure out how much damage was done, if any, and get it rent ready for another tenant. 
So, that's the eviction process. I'm wearing my level up hat, my level up shirt, my favorite shirt. These are all available at levelup247.com. Proceeds go towards funding the operation, obviously, as well as sponsoring um, our youth in certain events. Certain events. Uh, two weeks ago, I, we sponsored six kids for a 5K, and it went really well. So we're looking to do that um, to sponsor kids, uh, young kids, to do what they want to do, and they, you know, a lot of them may not be able to afford it. So that's where the proceeds go. So I'd, I'd really like you if you could check out level up 247. Uh, dot com. I also got a blog there, and um, we appreciate any any um, any support. So thanks again, and I think I'm going to do two videos today. We'll figure out what the next video is here in a minute. Until then, level up. Let's get better daily. Thanks.